scary moment, I guess, when Janae Irving got her eye poked, but then was still able to, to make the layup and the shot. That was kind of impressive, right? That she, when, like, eyes closed, put that ball up there. she and came back, she said, I can't see, I can't see. Well, I said, well, you made the shot, so, uh, you know, we can blindfold you and you can still make the shot. Well, that'd be good. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really glad to see that she was able to come back because I, I wasn't sure she really was uh, struggling with her vision. Um, so, you know, she toughed it out for us, and I, I thought she played a fabulous game. Yeah, what, uh, you know, what was behind her all-around game? It was rebounds and assists as well as scoring. Yeah, well, you know, Shantae Miles is uh, no slouch, and she was, I think, pretty fired up to go against her. But really, after last week, especially the Northridge game, which was just so heartbreaking for us, uh, we had the game totally in control, and then we kind of lost our, our way. Um, you know, there was a certain level of frustration, I think, that she felt, and, you know, she really spoke with me a lot about things she needed from me and things that I could do to help her more, and uh, I try to do my job better, and she certainly did her job very well to me. You have to always rebound. I think, you know, for us, at least in Hawaii, we were really flat in that game, and I think that the travel schedule was pretty brutal. I think, actually, Cal Poly's the most disadvantaged team in the league as far as that trip goes because of where we're located. Uh, it's not an easy trip, and it's not an easy trip for anybody to make, and, you know, God bless Hawaii that they have to make that every year of the weekend or whatever, but uh, you know, it's a tough trip. I thought that we played better at Northridge and uh, really had that game in the bag until our free throws just went to Kapui. And, um, you know, I felt like we were a better team with the exception of that uh, against Northridge. So we kind of got robbed on the road, and uh, but it was to our own doing. If we had made free throws, we would have won the game and been happy campers. But it is a tough thing to to win in this conference, every game, I think, that you can see there's a ton of parity. Obviously, Fulton didn't shoot the ball well tonight, but uh, they're a dangerous team. They beat Hawaii. They took Northridge to one point. I mean, they're, they're a formidable team, and we just happened to play some really great defense tonight and shot the ball well. You know, I got after them a little bit in practice on Monday and Tuesday, and they're sucking air because they're running so much. But they responded really well as far as like, let's take care of home and uh, let's get back in this race as far as trying to win a conference championship. Well, I think I have to keep the reserves fresh. And uh, if I leave kids in too long, then I think there's a tendency to decrease in intensity. And we're, you know, we don't have the best speed on the court, but uh, we better play hard. If we play soft at all, we're going to our butts kick. So uh, that's my job is to keep everybody fresh. Mm -hmm. What is a game like this, I guess if you want to call it a blowout, what does that do for the younger players on the team? Well, they got really tremendous experience and I thought they all contributed really well. You can see some of the strengths that each one is developing and uh, so proud of the efforts that they put in today. Mm -hmm. Just even a couple weeks time and a month's time, seeing their growth has been really uh, impressive to me and exciting about what they can continue to achieve as they continue to work.